Welcome to the Enrollment Reporting File Submission Series, Things to Know Before You Get Started. Today we're going to review the things that you should know prior to submitting your enrollment reporting files to the Clearinghouse. The Clearinghouse highly recommends schools become familiar with a programming and testing guide, which can be found both on the Clearinghouse public and secure websites. The guide is updated each time there are changes to reporting requirements or procedures. The Clearinghouse recommends you submit files at least four times per term or semester. However, most of our school participants submit files to the Clearinghouse on a monthly basis. This ensures the Clearinghouse is submitting the most current and accurate student enrollment report to the lending community and the Department of Education. Schools are directed to report all enrolled student populations in their file submission. This includes all enrolled students except medical students who are in an internship or fellowship program and consortium students for whom you are not the home or degree granting institution. It's important to send the Clearinghouse clean, accurate, and current data. This ensures your students get the best possible service for financial aid reporting. The information you send us will be used both by the Department of Education and servicers of student educational loans. The accuracy of your data will affect your student's financial aid eligibility. The Clearinghouse encourages schools to be engaged and involved in your enrollment reporting process. Best practices show that schools who frequently review their file submission details and who are familiar with submission details are often prepared for their annual audit. For more detailed information, please review our Enrollment Reporting Programming and Testing Guide or view our other online tutorials.